Hello YouTube, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing how to run UBM Play on Windows 10. First things first, you must download IBM SC and UBM Play. Then put them in the self separate folder. One for IBM SC, then extract it inside. Then another for UBM Play, then extract it inside. So. Before we begin, I'll make sure that my UBM play is not working as well. By the way, if you're gonna note chart, then you're gonna adjust something like height and width of this. If you see my mouse cursor, then you just increase it a little bit like this, maybe to 1.5 for the width, then height, you just increase a little bit uh, maybe 1.5 as well or 1.75 anyways uh, if you try to run UBM play then you will get an error message like this uh, even though you specif specify the path yeah, it says another error message like this it says uh, you're missing this component so first things first you have to go to system wow 64 folder in windows inside locals disk c drive so you go to c drive then double click on windows then scroll down to find this this folder then double click on this Oh, and you also have to download the files for UBM Play Fix. I I already like uh, I already provided it on the link description. So what you need to do is just cut these four files, then put them in this folder. Continue then. If, if it du duplicates, just replace. You just need to replace it. If it says it, if you already have the file in the folder, then you just replace it. Then what you need to do is type cmd on the com command prom prompt. Then you should have this. Now what you need to type now is cd backslash minus another symbol then you're on C drive then you type CD Windows then you're on Windows folder then you type CD system wow 64 now what you need to do this is an important part is that you type REGSVR32 space percentage system root percentage then type backslash then type system wow 64 it doesn't have to be capital case then type com dlg 32.ocx and it'll say that it uh, register server is success like this uh, mine is in Korean don't mind it now you only need to do the same for the rest of the four files if you press the right arrow key then it'll just copy but from this point you need to change the file name to dx7vb.dll it'll say success again now again you Press and hold the right arrow key. Now type dx8vb.dll. Then it'll say again, it's success. Now one more, one more file to go. Then finally you type mscomctl.ocf. Then it'll say it's success. Now you can close the command prompt for now. And then, like, uh, you go ahead and try again and see if it works. Mine works. Oh, there, 
there's one more tip and also if you press the number 9 key on your keyboard not on the keypad uh, I'm not sure if it works on keypad but if you press it like uh, twice then it kind of shows all of the information like this which is convenient also uh, to make sure I'll test with the file actually I'm gonna use this power eraser then uh, make sure to use OGG file instead of mp3 because mp3 is not good for the node charting you can convert mp3 to OGG using the web website I'm gonna put is put the song in then I'll put the song note like this then I'll put actual note like this and I'll try playing again working fine eh all right this is it for my video if you have question feel free to ask oh and the reason why i up re-upload this because it's because maybe i was thinking if i re-upload it'll be more helpful with my voice but it's pretty much the same concept and same content as i've posted before on the video so i'll link you to that video as well anyways Peace.